I guess uh, today we're just going to be talking about the Golden State Warriors Boston Celtics series finished up on Thursday. You know, I've been busy all weekend, so I wanted to get so sooner, but uh, I couldn't, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, we're just going to sit here, ramble a little bit, and we'll get to the Golden State Warriors soon, but I just want to talk about the Celtics first. You know, congratulations to the Golden State Warriors, fourth championship, congratulations. But first, we're going to start with the Celtics, get my thoughts on that. And then we'll uh, congratulate the Warriors at the end. So, Boston, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. And we're going to start with Tatum, because if you watch the series at all, we know Tatum had a horrible series. Did not show up for one game. However, saying that we all know that Tatum is, he's that dude. We know that. He just had a bad series. Let's be honest. You know, all the criticism that Tatum's getting for uh, this series, 100% valid. Not going to sit here and defend that. But we know that he's better than what he showed. We know that. Uh, I think we also, well, I mean, I knew this before. I had this opinion before. But I think a lot of people were opened up to Jalen Brown actually being, like, really good, not just a second option. Because Jalen Brown is probably the best player on the Celtics this series. I'd say Robert Williams was second. That dude wasn't even 100%. He was still protecting the rim like crazy. So shout out to Robert Williams because I really like him. But Jalen Brown is probably the best player. And he had a all right series the turnovers are a problem with tatum and brown and and holy shit jalen brown cannot handle the ball at all whatever that man's ball handle rating is in 2k it's got to be lowered that is it is awful saying that though uh he made big shots especially towards uh game six towards the end where they're trying to get back in the game him and al horford really the ones trying to get them back into the game but throughout the series he was definitely the uh better player between him and tatum i think we all can agree on that. Now, no way am I saying Tatum is worse than Jalen Brown. Tatum is definitely better. However, I think Jalen Brown has gotten some respect from this series because I think people actually consider him to be actually good. I would consider him to be like a one masquerading as a two because he's clearly not better than Tatum. However, if he was on his own team, he would definitely be a number one. But uh, yeah, I don't really think the Celtics really need to do much. You know, to try and get back to the finals next year. I don't think that they will. And I'll give my prediction at the end, my way too early prediction. But I don't think they get back. However, I mean, it would not shock me. You know, I think the main core, like the main group of people are coming back. I don't think they're going to make many changes. And they really shouldn't. Because, I mean, they had a very good season. Once they got it all figured out. You know, halfway through the season, they were, what, 500? No one thought they were going to be in the finals. And then they're like, well, wait, hold up. We're actually pretty good at this whole basketball thing. Let's actually play like it. And next thing you know, they're in the finals. So clearly they have the group good enough to get them there. And to even get a few games off the Warriors is impressive. So I don't think you really need to make any changes. But now, let's talk about the Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry. What are you going to say now? What are we going to say now about Steph Curry? This man has four rings, a finals MVP, two MVPs. One was unanimous. What are we, Two scoring titles, by the way. What are we going to hold against him? Now, people who have a brain are going to say, oh, nothing. However, you know people are going to bring up something about him, which is, it's ridiculous. The Steph Curry hate skin, ridiculous. I'm not a Warriors fan, but I like Steph. And the hate that Steph Curry gets before he got this finals MVP was absolutely ridiculous. Because I think we all can agree that in 2015, he definitely should have won it over Iggy. Now, don't get me wrong, Iggy had a big part in that series, even though LeBron still averaged a 30-point triple-double, but that's besides the point. Curry was definitely the best player on the court for the uh, Warriors. But, you know, now he's actually got a Finals MVP with this one, and it was very well-deserved. I think he averaged, like, 36-6 and six or something like that. I don't know. I know he averaged over 30 points. I forget the rebounds and assists off the top of my head. So, yeah. I don't know if this is a hot take, but Curry is now top 10 all-time. I cannot give you my top 10 right now. But he is going to move into that 10th spot. I can tell you that right now. I would have to, you know, actually think about my list. But he's in that 10th spot. I swear to God, if someone brings up the fact that he's not great at defense, oh, you guys are just hating for no reason. You guys are trying to find something to complain about. But all right, enough of riding Steph Curry. Uh, you know, Clay Thompson coming back after two years of just horrible injuries. You know, he gets his fourth ring. Well deserved. I mean, did he have the greatest playoffs in general? No. But I mean, the dude came back from two horrible injuries. I don't think anybody expected him to absolutely ball out. Just the fact that seeing Clay on the court is good enough. Uh, it's awesome. So Clay gets his fourth ring. Draymond obviously gets his fourth as well. And people call Steph Curry a front runner, which 
eh, kind of. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't go that far. But you cannot say the same thing about Draymond Green. That dude at the beginning of the season said, oh yeah, now we're champions. We're, we're going to win it. And nobody believed him. And look what happened. They're champions. I heard that CJ McCollum called Draymond before the series and said, you know Boston's going to win, right? And Draymond said, no, we're going to send them home ringless just like you. That is, <laughs> that, that's pretty, that's not front running. That's confidence. And I'm not a huge fan of Draymond, but you got to respect that about Draymond. No matter what, he'll always have his team above yours. And also in game six, when I saw him hit a three in the corner, you knew it was over. Because if Draymond is hitting a three, and he was all of 11 for that point from three in that series, you know they're going to win. I mean, it's only a matter of time before they end up getting the lead. And, well, they did. Because, you know, Boston let them go on a 21 to nothing run. That's ridiculous. They had 22 points when Golden State started that 21-point run. So they damn near scored the same amount of points as the Celtics did in one quarter in one run. So Steph, Clay, Draymond, you know, I think they've uh, solidified themselves as one of the top trios in NBA Finals history. And then, you know, we got some valuable, I don't want to call them role players, but people that are not part of that main group. You know, we got Poole coming off the bench, providing a spark for the bench unit. And even through the playoffs, I think he actually started a few games over Steph, which I think was related to Steph's injury. Either way, he stepped up and he did his thing. Uh, Gary Payton, locked down on defense. He even suffered a horrible injury in, what was that, the semifinals against the Grizzlies. Came back in the finals, didn't even miss a beat. Kevon Looney started literally every single game, regular season and playoffs. I knew he's like Iron Man out there, did not miss one game. So And, you know, the man himself, Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins gets his first finals. Well, actually, he gets his first finals, and then he ends up winning it as well. Easily the second best player on the Warriors throughout this finals run, by the way. Or at least in the final series itself, he was definitely the second best player behind Curry. You know, he did all the dirty work. He locked up Tatum like crazy. And then he'd give you 20 and 10. It, Wiggins stepped up, and I think we're all uh, we're all happy for that. Because Wiggins, Wiggins is cool, dude. So to see him develop as a player and get rewarded for it, very nice. I mean, shout out to James Wiseman. That dude rolled pine all season and still got a ring. So good on him. Kaminga's the same age as me, and he's got a finals ring. Congratulations, you've accomplished more than I've ever have. But uh, yeah, the Warriors dynasty continues. You know, Steph, Clay, Draymond, they're going to be there for a while. And even after, like, when that they're all said and done, the Warriors are still going to be a good team. Because not only do they have depth, they got young rising stars as well. And they get, still got Steve Kerr, who is a great coach. This man got five rings as a player and four as a coach. Only four coaches, including him, have gotten four rings as a coach. So Steve Kerr, while he does have a great team, and he has since he started, has solidified himself as a really good coach. So the Warriors dynasty, you know, it's far from over. And as someone who's not a fan of the Warriors, it's going to be a rough, rough time. However, I do like watching the Warriors play. Warriors basketball is really fun to watch. However, as a Lakers fan, this is going to be awful for years to come. Let me tell you what. Not only are the Lakers going to be dog shit, but the Warriors are going to be really fucking good. But uh, yeah, congratulations to the Warriors. Fourth ring in eight years. Absolutely insane. You know. Also, you know, it's a little tidbit for Kevin Durant. People said Kevin Durant saved Steph's legacy. I mean, I'm not saying it's the other way around, but Steph did win before KD, with KD, and after KD, and KD's only gone out of the first round once. Now, obviously, there's reasons for that. There's reasons for that for a whole different video, but I just wanted to throw that in there because, you know, how can I mention the Warriors and Steph and not mention KD? Plus, uh, I'm not trying to actually get into it because, you know, KD might, you know, fucking roast me on Twitter, and I'm not really trying to have that but yeah oh also early way too early finals predictions i'm gonna go bucks warriors bucks and seven because i think if the bucks are healthy celtics don't even get there and the bucks do this year so i think as long as injuries aren't a problem for either one of these teams it's gonna be bucks warriors bucks and seven mark my words but uh yeah anyways uh that's about all i've got again congratulations to the warriors but uh yeah uh you know press the buttons and subscribe to like you know press the buttons you know do the thing i'm not gonna tell you what to do you know, you've watched a YouTube video before. I can't control you. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.